Grilling Season 2, Episode 4. I'm Lineker, and I'm here because you asked me to come on the show, and I'm here to date the beautiful Cheyenne. Yeah, I'm used to a few grillings that, you know, the press have been at me for years, but... Wait, um, Lineker, wait, is he sitting on something? Grill, I'm sure that's there. Date before, so let's see what happens, but um, I think I can handle it. What do you expect from a lady on a first date? Oh, he Just looks shy. Light, uh, manners, not eat with a mouthful, but first of all, manners and decorum. Do you go on a lot of first dates? Not really. I think I've only been on about 3,740 dates in my time. Not too many then. No, not, 3, not many. 3,000. I'm always ready. Holy shit. Ready. Well, he's, he's 50 yard, so. Wait, so how many girls did he smash? I'm guessing probably like a couple hundred then. If it's so many Hi. dates. Hi. Oh. Uh, probably, yeah, You're like. Very beautiful, babe. Thank you. What's your name? Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Oh, he looks really nice. He's made a bit of an effort. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm still a baby, babe. How old's a baby? I'm twice your age. Twice my age? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. To be honest, I'm shocked, because I didn't think I'd be attracted to her, but uh, I am. Um... So, where are you from? Oh, I live in Ibiza, but um, I base myself in London in the winters. Well, oh, really? Close to central London. What's the difference between being in Ibiza and over here? Wait, a Ibiza, lot. What, a lot. what is that? Sunshine, like different vibes. Beautiful, country? soulful place. I'll be right, like a different yeah. I do enjoy state. my winter in London. Oh, nice. And then... Uh, I guess it's a different state. Go party in the summer. Yeah, OK. So how, how long did you party for? 2012, I did... I had 150 hangovers in 150 days. What? Yeah. Well, actually, it was, a, it, was a, it was 110 hangovers in 110 days. This is definition of a party boy. Wayne Dineker. But that was a particularly special. I'm getting yeah, very popular. I'm going to have to look up his uh, name when I'm done. Bit loose then. Yeah. But I've, I've straightened myself out a straight bit. Straightened yourself out now. Yeah. So what's straightened yourself out now then? I don't know. Just my my family, I guess, and uh, yeah. I've got grandchildren now, and uh, yeah, they're beautiful. Would you say you're a family man? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you a family man? I just love my family. We I love my family holidays together. Yeah, we've got a very special bond, and uh, we're very very close and very tight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a family man. Damn, yeah, it was backwards. So what's your type? <laughs> mm, have you got a mirror? <laughs> My type is they're generally mixed race, quite like the tie look, you know. Um, okay. But all, all my previous girlfriends are of the mixed race. My last one, um, Danielle Sandu, was half Indian. <laughs> Wait, it's so a mixed race, five foot five. I'm his dream woman. Is he your type? My type's personality, so we'll see. We have to see how the date goes. Dude, Cheyenne is not going to admit anything, man. <laughs> quite a lot. How many is quite a lot? I'm not an in and out immediately. So you like the mystery is the girls. Guy. You know, I like to give it a man, go. Man, I like everybody, man. They seem to have a four-year lifespan. Is that so, it? Yeah. But it's very difficult for girls to sit with my, with my industry and my job and et cetera. Is this Hugh Hefner? Definitely a playboy. Especially when I was at a younger age, it was like... Because I was a little bit, like I say, a bit loose then. Really? So was you like a bit of a playboy? It's not really playboy, just about having a good time, you know, going out and enjoying myself, you know. I've never been a cheater. I've never really? cheated on a woman in my life. You've no. never cheated on a woman? And I never will, no. That's really good. Cheers mm. to that. Yeah, cheers. Wait. Oh, I don't, green tick. I don't boyer. believe you, bro. So I'm guessing you have a lot of women that like you for your lifestyle. Do they like me for my lifestyle? Or do they, or do they admire me for what I've done? Or do they hang on to me for my money? Yeah. Um, which is not that, not that much of that anymore because of COVID, but... Yeah. But, yeah, I think, I think women are attracted to success, and I guess in their eyes I, I have been quite successful. So how do you filter through what woman is, like, dating you for you? Yeah, I mean, I've made, I've made mistakes in the past, you know, um, but I've seemed to have uh, filtered them out now, and um, I can, you know, after even a first date, I'm, I'm sort of engaging in... Really? ..what I really want, you know? So you some of them can literally on. pretend very well. And then you'll work out what they really want. You can't trust them all, boys. Be careful. I, th I just think if a, if a woman is well mannered know, and speaks well, Dude, if I well, was like, you know, well good and the food shit, and wine and I would probably you know, go to some that's, countries that's my bag, that you know, I like. I like that. I, know I like a bit of class in a girl. And that doesn't really know well, all about. Know, I like an intelligent woman. But They're if an international you're, if you're the time, situation. How do you find an intelligent woman? Surely she's just drunk and smashed. But if, if, me, if I want to find a wife, you only, you only see that Probably like in Asia. You see the party something. side on Instagram. You don't, you don't see the reality. You know when you're when you're spending time together, going to Ibiza town and going shopping and the, the stuff I like to do. Okay. You know it's not it's not all about party for me. The last thing I want is a complete party girl. Really? You know, yeah. Otherwise that's just a disaster. 
Mr. Ibiza doesn't want a party girl. Obviously, I'm going to enjoy myself with her, but there's not, not going to be any longevity in it because, um, you know, what Ibiza's like, and um, it just, get, it just gets... Uh, oh, is it really. Ibiza? How do you um, find, it, like, relationships... Is it Ibiza in Spain? I think, or is Portugal? I think either Spain or Portugal. How does that put pressure on your relationship, or does it? How is the airport yeah, the island of Ibiza? I mean... I like to spend every second of my day with my with my girlfriend. You know, with my ex, she landed a big modelling job, which meant she was then tied to the UK. Yeah. She couldn't really travel, which caused problems in the relationship, obviously with me being in Ibiza and her being in London. You know, me being surrounded by girls in bikinis every day, you know, it's very difficult yeah, for her. Yeah, I can imagine. So eventually the pressure took its, took, took its toll and um, we parted ways, but we're best friends. We're, you know, we speak every single week, every, most days. Finally, someone that's actually friends with their ex, like he actually gets it. So you could be friends with an ex? I'm best friends with all my exes. Listen, oh, you can probably like, smash them, bro. someone actually gets it. All of them. Oh, wow. We're all, we're all really, really close. And, that's uh, really interesting. Yeah, I Man. just feel it's, it's nice, you know, why? Because I've, I've ne we've never ended on bad terms. It's always been a, a sort of a... Chan don't even get really it, man. This guy can literally him, smash his ex. Really so well. when Did she's happy about Adrian, that situation, he can literally like just always been like smash that, his ex, know? bro. I like good vibes, you know. GVO, good vibes only. I like that. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm just a happy-go-lucky guy, you know. Is it you that usually breaks up with them, or do they break up with you? It's normally we, we, we both understand when the times come. But like I say, it's very difficult with my relationship, with my business and... Uh, so for me to hold on to a strong relationship for a long Dude, I have to look up this guy, man. Same, I, don't, uh, I don't know and, uh, what it is. I'm not going to stop the video you know, because... I've, I've done all my part. When I'm done, I'm going to actually look up. I mean, there's up. still a lot, lot more left in me. Oh, but, yeah. How much more then? Yeah, quite a lot. But, so I'm probably going to go from seven days a week to six. But I'm not going to lie. You look That's fit, though. You look... <laughs> no, I'm you are 50 no, something. But, I mean, I have to go to the ocean. 55 or 58. I love to be there. But you look fit as shit. Not going to lie. It's just difficult for girls to get their head around sometimes. Yeah. So I've got the hen who's all... Yeah. Look at one of those old guys that you see on Instagram. So how, how, how do you, like, kind of have to turn women down in that sense? If women are throwing themselves at you... I mean, they're not throwing th themselves at me in that way. They're just having a bit of banter with me because I'm, I'm probably on every girl's uh, IB through WhatsApp groups and stuff like that. Yeah. So I come over and I have a laugh and, um, yeah, it's just a laugh, you know. But um, it's never a case of they're throwing themselves at me to fucking go around the back and have sex, you know. It's not really? like that, yeah. So if women were, would you just be like, yeah, absolutely, or just... No, definitely not. No, it's not me. It's not my bag. Even when you were younger? No, it never been my bag. Wayne, how many people have you slept with? Not oh. that many, to be honest. Not that many? Really? You'd think a lot more, but it's just not my bag, babe. I just don't... So I how mean... many is not that many, though? Yeah, body count. I wasn't expecting that, you know, because I've never kept a number, but that's a bit personal. <laughs> it's probably a lot compared to most. So what is it? It's below 100, anyway. Below 100? A lot below 100. More than 50? I would say around that figure. It's interesting. But I'm not one to count. If I'd slept with over 50 men, would you sleep with me? I was just going to ask you, actually. Would it be an issue for you? I, I always say whatever your past is, is your past. You know, from the day you met me, for example, then that's when your future begins. And whatever's happened in your past has happened for a reason. There's a certain line to that. Well... I wouldn't really want to mm. know who you slept with or how many you slept with. You know, yeah. it's just, it's just but what about the behavioural right. change? I'm interested in your future. She's That's not like it. a wife it's material. All so if you were with a younger woman, mm. like myself, mm. and I decided I wanted to have children with you, is that a no-go or would you be like, yeah, I'm open mm. for it? I'm open for it, yeah. Really? You know why? Because I think if I could have a son or a daughter younger than my grandson, a granddaughter and grandson and granddaughter, that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Get loads of likes. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my I'm god, this likes. guy is talking about <laughs> likes. Holy okay, okay. shit. I said that to my family. Yeah. They're like, Dad, you can't have another kid. How, how do they feel about it, actually? They're alright, they, they know what I'm like. You know, they have to control me now and again. My son, Dwayne, he's my partner in Ocean as well. He's, he's like the father of the relationship. Yeah. You know, and I'm Can like you imagine son, if so this guy got a young wife and his really? son is probably like, yeah, what, 20 at the year old? It's kind of weird, process, bro. How do you chat a woman up? I just try and make them feel as special as I can. Oh, obviously, well mannered, open the door. Pull the seat out of the table, pay the bill. Old traditional stuff, really. So you're a gentleman, then? I like to think I am, yeah. I like them to go home and thinking, well, that was nice. You know, he's a nice guy. Do you think the, like, because obviously I've read things about you in the press and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, do you think people know the real you? I think they do now. Before oh, I went to the for dating, I was Actually, posting read about him. controversial stuff. And yeah, a few things backfired on me. I was trending on Twitter like four times in one year. Um, oh. But not for good things, for bad things. I was getting abuse, abuse from everywhere. I came out of Celebs Go Dating and a, a guy called Ali Ross wrote an article in, in The Sun. He should change his name to Wayne Kerr 
they wrote a whole article about how I shouldn't have been on Celebs Go Dating and I was this, I was that. I was like, so I posted it, it went absolutely mad. It went viral. Like, I've got 250,000 likes and I've got so much support. We started a No Excuse for Abuse campaign. I'd get certain celebs like Tom Zanetti and Chloe and Callum and people like that to come on the show and talk I don't about think I don't know how they deal people. with it. Like, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know much about the UK celebrity scene. Congratulations um, on that. Thank you. Because of the two things combined, Celebs Go Dating and the No Excuse for Excuse campaign and all the work that I do with charities, Down Syndrome especially, they're now like, they can see me for actually who I am. Yeah. You seem like a really nice guy, yeah, like two-faced and everything. But the way I would see it, like probably just like the public would, and this is just how I would yeah. project, so don't take it personal. No, it's fine. Whenever I see an older man dating a younger woman, it gives kind of like, not to say that you're exploiting women, but that's what I would think, because I think usually it's young mm. girls that have daddy issues, that haven't yeah, had a father in their life that are dating older mm. men. So that's why I would see the flip and I'd be like, oh, hold on. The, the people I date are always over 25, 30, whatever, or around that age. They're fully grown women. I don't go to the conservative club and hang around 60 year olds. So I'm never in that environment to ever get a connection with someone that age. You're telling me he's never dated a woman over 30? My sister dated an older guy. And I know that when she brought him home, my dad wasn't too happy. So how would you find relationships with like the women you're dating, their fathers? I've, or I've, had, that, I've had that several times. But eventually, once they meet me, they're more than happy. Danielle's dad, for example, was totally against it. He told me to my face, he said, I don't like this. And then when Daniel and I split up, he was the one that was more upset than anyone. Forget the age. I think all parents want yeah. is for their child to be loved and respected by someone. And I think we do put a lot of pressure if on the two people can have fun together and they're attracted to each other, it's a natural thing. The Man, more this conversation is so... Parent, the worst they're going to be. Yeah. They're going so, to go against it. I would say, really nice feel grown-up, like a grown-up like, conversation. That's crazy. I that would be crazy. Can you use that grown-up? People would assume that I'm with you because nah. of my money, lifestyle, and I would look like a gold digger. Do you know what I think? I think people would think that's a fit f***ing couple. Yeah? Yeah, fucking right. Babe. Couple goals, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. But listen, this even, guy, even man, guys this come guy. up to me and go, why are you, why are you dating a 30 year old? I said, what do you want to do when you're 59? You do. Good answer. Huh? What do you want to do? He went, date a 30 year old. Oh, shut the cop then. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when you was getting drugs <laughs> online and everything, how did that affect your mental health? It only affected me because of what my family thought. It's no secret, Gary Lynn, because my brother. You know, I took it from an early age. You're, you're, only, you're only doing this because you're Gary Lynn's brother. You've only got this because you're Gary's brother. You've only got this because you're Gary's brother. No, f mate. Yeah. I'm doing my own thing. So eventually through the years... So I'm I getting his brother famous too. Health. But what upsets me is that people that go on to someone like Love Island, all of a sudden they've come out from with 500 followers to a million followers yeah. in the public eye, and it's too fast. It's way oh, too fast, wait. which is why. Dude, female Love you Island know, is like the biggest are, thing in, have taken their own in the lives, UK when it comes to that reality show. Because that's why you have the Kardashian and done. After being on well, America have way more day, um, reality show than got thrown in England. So not a nobody, Love but Island is probably like... It wasn't known by the public to someone all of a sudden super famous. And she got so much abuse from the press. She got so much abuse and uh, hate. You know, it was too much for her, so she took her own life. That's and, uh, really sad. And it's the same with Mike Theoli Theolites. Um, I had Nando's within two days before he died. Does that put, cause, like, friction in your relationships with your family? Like, obviously, you said... I'm going to have to look up some of these like, incidents, man. This is got, like, crazy. Children, grandchildren to protect. Does that cause friction in the no, family? No, none at all. No, they're fully supportive of me. Your family's your family, isn't it? Um, but they're, if certain situations arise, how are we going to deal with it and you know how we're going to speak about it and do we speak about it do we just ignore it and that sort of stuff yeah but as a family unit we tend to make them decisions together that's good i think it's good that you've got like that family yeah. unit yeah i'm very speak. fortunate i'm super fortunate yeah Yo, you know what i think this Obviously is the I'm first time they have you. you're a very gorgeous woman thank you <coughs> I, I don't know your situation you're mentally with the older men i guess you i'm the oldest person you've ever had on this show by quite a long way yeah, you are. But is there any attraction for you? No, I've, you're an attractive man. I think you've got a really nice <laughs> energy about you, so I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll WhatsApp you later, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that she's starting to like me, you know. What's the wildest thing you've ever done? I don't think I should tell you on my first date because she'll be running out the door. I might like it. What if I like wild? The wildest thing I've ever done? Trust me, babe, you definitely don't want to know that. And my family definitely don't want to know that. And they'll be watching, so no way. It's not going to happen. I would love to invite you to my 60th birthday party, which is um, at Ocean Beach on the 24th of April. 
Oh my God, let's do it. A lot of my friends at Tom Zanetti and people like that are performing and yeah, it's gonna be amazing. But I'd love you to come and oh. I'll invite you on my table. He really wants me to come to this party, doesn't he? Okay, I'll come to your 60th birthday. Thank you, cheers this, for that. This is a lie, bro, this is a lie. We're talking about second dates here. I've invited her to the ultimate second date, which is my 60th birthday party. And I think she wants to come. So where are you from? I was born in Leicester and raised in Leicester. I grew up with my brother, Gary. We were very close and we spent you know, every minute of the day together. So what was your upbringing like? My dad worked on the markets, fruit and veg, um, as did my granddad and, uh, and my great granddad. It was a very, very thriving business because there was no supermarkets then. So my dad then asked for me to start going to work on the markets, fruit and veg, when I was 14, or when I was 12, sorry. And every weekend I used to, I used to love it. You know, it's just, it's a great education for me as well. I left school at 14, didn't take an oh, really? exam. Five Ooh. days before my 14th, a 15th birthday. By the time I was 16, I'd, I had my own business. By the time I was 18, I had 40 people working for me. Wow. wow. Sort of step That's... back and let me take over by the time I was 20. Damn, was so I'm guessing and, um, then they started off started young, up. bro. And it just, overnight it just went, shh, crashed. And then at, the, at that time, my ex-wife, Dwayne and Sean's mum, she, her uh, parents lived in, um, Tenerife. I said, the market's done, we need to move to Tenerife. And at that time, my brother was so famous. He was captain of England, he was just won the Golden Boot in Mexico. And I thought to myself, I'm oh, going to take advantage of my second breath name. Is, uh, I thought, I I'll open a bar and I'll call it Lineker's. I spoke to my brother, he gave me full blessing. You know, I had 40 grand in my pocket. I sold all my businesses, everything. I mean, 40 grand back then was probably 200 grand now. And I put everything in that I had into trying to open a bar in, in, in Las Americas in Tenerife. We had to move from that premises within six months because it got too busy. And um, yeah, it was a huge success and uh, it's just all been built from there really. And uh, yeah. So when did Damn. you open the ocean? Linux has expanded the brand. We, we opened in several countries and we had 14 at one stage. We had a, a partner in Ocean now, Tony Truman, called me and so said, I want to open Ocean, ocean like, like a Beta. bar? Which Dude, I'm gonna actually look up this guy, man. This guy seems interesting. And then I don't Tony know nothing me, about said, him. I found it after after the success of Linux Ibiza, he called me. He said, "Wayne, because me and him had a conversation in a pool in Marbella, saying we need to open a beach club in Ibiza." But after that, he went back to the island, called me, said, "Wayne, we've found the perfect spot for Ocean," and it was like, "Oh my God, it's too big." We're like, what the fuck are we gonna do with all this space? We designed it and built it, it's now not big enough. So Tony Truman and Dwayne really do all the work and I take all the credit. Brilliant. <laughs> Which is nice. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Okay. Me. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> no. This is my husband. You're, you're married? No, I said like, when it's my husband. Oh, so okay, I mean... cool. Love that, <laughs> perfect. His face was like, you're married. Wait, what did you say? No. I don't give head. So you don't go down on women? Oh, dude, women, yeah. Sh Cheyenne is lying, man. I'm, I'm, I'm up, she, not up with dude, the gang. Cheyenne Definitely not on the phone. Goggle that man. thing, bro. She's she lying. Now. I'm not no, believing no, it. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just letting you know. So how many dates until you do? I don't sleep with a woman until I know her on a personal level. I really like that. I can't do it for one night stands. It's not me. Sorry, lads, I don't want to let you down, but it's not true. I think, I think men could learn from you. I, I like ah! it. I'm not gonna judge this guy. I don't know if he's lying or not, but okay. You can have it all day. Thank yes. You. Yeah. Absolutely. Really? 100%. I'm actually really surprised. I just believe if you've got a trust of a woman, you've got everything. But if you break that trust, you're fucked. And it's always fucked forever. Don't care what you say. So I, I, I class texting a guy or texting a girl as cheating. If you're flirting, that's cheating. Yeah. That's just, you might as well go sleep with them. Yeah. But until that trust is broken, then I've got no reason to ask you for your phone. But if you ask me for it, I'll give it you, because I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, I'm so strong on that. I, I don't. Like that. Trust is everything. What if someone's a natural flirt? If you're, do if you're flirting in front of me, and in a nice way, just being nice, a little bit flirtatious, nothing wrong with that. But if you're flirting behind my back and waiting till I go and get a drink at the bar, then flirting, oh, yeah. then that's not cool. But yeah, I mean, I'm a flirtatious guy. I'll flirt around people in front of you. But not in a not in not a, a disrespectful not way. Not in a disrespectful way. More like a banterish way. But if you're out with me and you're flirting a little bit, having a bit of laugh with the guy, it's no problem. Especially if he's not as good looking as me. Then if he's really good looking, like <laughs> I mean, it's a problem, isn't it? No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a flirtatious guy. I flirt around my Oh mates my god, this guy is funny. 
Do you not? Not really. Not, not really. really. Not mine's similar, because I, I do and I don't. I never used to, but now I just look and yeah, I think... Well. What you've done in your past is your own business. You know, what you do from the day you met me but is a different The thing story. is that when, it, when a woman sees with a lot of I mean, people, age, sometimes it kind of affects her to actually a stay with one person because I understand that she's, she's going to want more on a, uh, guys on her Dude, way. I don't know, man. A relationship with me. I've uh, seen a lot of chicks that do that and them. they're but if it's too many, they're still not content problem. right now. So, so that's what I'm saying. It's not a good thing. And they're like, oh, so and so, she slept with loads of people. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, if she's, you know, she's putting it about everywhere, yeah, that's different. But you know, if she's had a reasonable about relationships and she's slept with the guy every time, obviously, I'm, I don't. That's, I've got no problem with that. Yeah. What's your favourite thing to cook? Um, sausage mash, peas, gravy, onion gravy. Really? Oh, it's the best. I do like a bangers and mash. Do come round for a bang if you want, babe. Oh <laughs> my God! This guy, hey, bro. You supply the, the mash, food. I'll supply the bang. <laughs> oh my God! Would you not? I, I've just been embarrassing myself. You can fire at me, no problem. Not really sure about that one. Um, I'm happy with her fighting because I think it's funny. But me, I don't see anything attractive about me fighting around her. When I'm comfortable with someone, I'm always fighting, like around them. Is it? Yeah, just <laughs> like, let it rip. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going on our next date? What's good in Brentwood? Should we go out now? What now? You take me on another date now. I like that. Man that's prepared. Yo, dude, Sam. Novikov. Sexy fish I'm fine, fine, bro. You'd accept. You might, Jane. So she did I'm surprised she said day. she wasn't well, good looking. I, wanna, I, I would like to see what she looked like but when yeah, she was young, nice bro. Like, get seriously. I know you have some people that, the cameras. Nice vibe, when they're young, company. they actually I mean, like, not like attractive, nice and then like when nice they get older, they look. Oh, proper Better. gentleman. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I would that say myself, like, like yeah, I'm not an handsome guy yeah. like yeah. that, but yeah. Yeah. when I was younger, I don't think I was <laughs> or old things. That good, <laughs> ex, good, 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 good looking. <laughs> You're funny, Cheers I like that. that. <laughs> so what if I was to call you daddy in the bedroom? That's a good thing right now, isn't it? Is it good? I've heard that if you call the daddy, that's the one, isn't it? Is it? Could be. Yeah. Maybe with our, our age difference, it might be a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, daddy. So, ah. You want to call me daddy? Granddaddy? <laughs> and both. So, Yo, this dude said he wanted to call me granddaddy. What, are we calling you daddy? Daddy. Because <laughs> it's a good thing, isn't it? You're the daddy, bro. Oh, <laughs> my if God. This that, thing is you, funny. Like, feel like I get doing. DMs all the time from girls saying, can you be my daddy? And I'm thinking, that's weird. So, have you actually ever called someone daddy in the bedroom, Cheyenne? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Dude, it's shiny lying, bro. Such a liar! It's like the weirdest Holy thing someone's shit. messaged you. Like, how do they slide in your DMs? It's sometimes such a liar. complete filth. Really? Yeah, like obscene videos and stuff. But I've got a social media manager. She, all my request mes messages, she looks at. That's crazy. So I don't really see them. You think guys are bad? Girls are like, yeah, it's mad, babe. When was the last time you had sex? It's been a while. Dude, I like how it's actually out to the girl. Because they think women are so July nice. They are dangerous, bro. When it comes to wanting what they want, they would send nudes, like send this, send everything to, to you, bro. Like, it's I can't crazy. Just randomly sleep with girls. I just not, it's just not in me. I have to have feelings for someone before I sleep with them. Um, unless I'm absolutely f***ing smashed. Really? And it's different, yeah. But, but you're not always smashed. Then I'm no good. <laughs> yeah. So, mate, it's March. I hibernate in the winter. For, for a proper sexual experience then i have to have a, a relationship with that girl i uh, know them on a personal basis interesting so any i don't know you, man i'm still wondering if this dude back. is telling the truth about all that situation I've got? yeah i'm just asking you it's just like don't get too carried away do you not think i have a halo on my head joking there's a halo can you not see it believe it or not i'm not a sex all winter are you, are you saying that just to impress me no because i don't think that oppresses you i think you probably think mm, that's not cool why is it not why is it not had sex no, I think that's quite cool, actually. I don't like a man that's, like, everywhere. No, I've never been that man. Interesting. Mm. I mean, sometimes it's hard to say to the guys, my mates, you know what I mean? Really? Because they're like, hey, makes what's, you feel more what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me, bro. So I just choose to just say, oh, yeah, I shagged her. But yeah, I but don't. do you say it just to keep him quiet, or do you say it to be a part of, like, that... Do you like no, the I say it, I say it because I don't want them to think I'm, I'm like, inferior, as it were. 
Yeah, but you won't be. You're just being. No, no, you. but it's that a typical lad's mind is like they yeah. just want everything. Yeah, you don't have to give into that. You could be yeah, like, yeah, yeah no. Come so with I'd, that big alpha and well, like, yeah. actually, no, yeah, maybe. Not. I mean, we're my close friends. I am, but you know, in the Scottish guys, they come up, and go, hey, Wayne, you're a top shagger, you're top shagger, my hero. But they definitely must have I'm seen like, you shagging for them to give no, you that title. No, they just presume I'm a top shagger. I don't know. Listen, how has he said he doesn't have sex and he's getting the title top shagger? I'm well, sure they must have just, at some point, there must have been life where you were just, like, shagging loads for no, them to give you that title. No, babe. They see me on social media surrounded by girls every other day of my life. So that what? They think I'm shagging them. So why don't you just say, actually, no, I'm not? Because it would break their hearts. Break their hearts, then? 16, why do you care about their hearts? 16 lads. Wayne, oh, top shagger. I'm like, what am I going to go? Never shag, boys. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you, could, no, you but... could though, because realistically, like for someone that's got a, like a father to a daughter, yeah. like because men that have that laddish energy are just like complete yeah. dickheads. Yeah. So when you've actually got a man that's been a gentleman, actually this is the way, lads. We don't just mm. shag them and disrespect them. It's a lot better. Listen, listen. A lot of <laughs> chicks <laughs> nowadays yeah, in 2021, 2022, they're throwing that thing like you crazy. Me a lot more than you have. So I'll take that as a positive, because I've seen some of the uh, previous episodes. I noted. Um, <laughs> so how's it been for you? Yeah, I've enjoyed myself. It's man, nice. Dude, I listen, man. Really well Cheyenne guys. acting like um, females don't do the same thing that there. men do. Especially now when most of these first or Western country, the women to want to be men. In the past. That's a no-no. Uh, really? Crazy. Yeah, I think it's a code of conduct with the boys. You know, if my genuinely best mates have slept with them, then it's a no-go. I think it would be the same for the boys. Uh, it depends how close they are. If, if I had strong feelings for it, it wouldn't break it forever, no. But would it be weird to say, like, if I had slept with them and then we're all out for dinner because they're, like, your close friends? No, that, not really. That, I'll be OK with that because um, you've had your time and we've ha we're having ours now. But it is a little bit weird because he's my mate, you know what I mean? But yeah. It wouldn't break the deal for me. What if my ex was after you? In what way? Trying to, like, fight you. He couldn't compete. Couldn't? Our ex after me. Why would you want to do that? I'd just give him a free table at Ocean. He'll be happy. <laughs> I'd probably ring him up. I'd probably front him and ask him to speak to me privately and um, sit down, have a chat, persuade him that I'm not a bad person. I'm not out to make your life hell or his life hell. So, yeah, definitely decorum first. And then if he was continually aggressive, then that's another story. But you don't want me arguing with your ex, do you? It's no fun, is it? I like that reply. What if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Absolutely oh not. my god. Why not? Only fans. <laughs> my children said to me, Dad, um, we need you to be in a relationship. You're, you've been single enough for two years and we're worried about you. you. You're getting loose again and blah, blah, blah. So I said, OK, find me, find me a girl. They didn't. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post my criteria. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out who wants me. Like a job application. They have to match my criteria. Better get your CVs in, ladies. <laughs> And one of them on it was, I don't have OnlyFans, you shouldn't too. OK. And the reason for that is because every single time I meet an OnlyFans girl, which I've got nothing against, because it's a great way of making income, if you're going to be my girlfriend and you're slapping your stuff around on live webcam and this, that and the other, and I just don't think it's a vibe. So I don't do it, so I don't think you should. OnlyFans will be an absolute no-no for me. What if I got put in prison for five years? Would you wait for me? Absolutely, 100%, yeah. Mm. Would you wait, though? Listen, mm. if you're going to Ocean every summer, you ain't waiting. You'd wait, does that mean... Do you like, like O'Shea and he's no picking up on some the, of these bullshit, bruh? So. Have you? Ooh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Why'd you go to prison? Tax. Really? How long for? I did seven and a half months. Really? Oh, wow, Almost a year. That. He's been to prison. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I had a girlfriend at the time that stuck by me. Yeah, it was a really tough time. But it was ridiculous. I only went to prison because I was Gary's brother at the time. But, oh. So they set an example of me. But, but if you went to prison, I'd 100% stick by. Unless you got oh my God. life. Yeah. <laughs> Five years, you're out in two and a half years. Good behaviour. Yeah, exactly. Happy days. What if I didn't sleep with you for the first six months? Six months? Six long, three months? months I'd, I'd, I'd respect you. Any more than that, so I'd be thinking she's not attracted to me in that way. Does that change the way you would respect women? So if I slept with you after like <clears throat> two weeks to instead of waiting for six months would you view me differently yeah i think after two weeks it's fine if it depends how much you've seen each other but if if it's first night second night third night then there wouldn't be a long-term relationship because i'd lose my respect for you i still like you that though i've got a feeling for someone and i can't get them over one night yeah it takes time 
but not too much because like yeah. so there's a fine line it just but, then yeah. goes into like the friend zone and then you yeah just, then, you, then yeah exactly that what if i wanted to involve other people into our sex life can i pick what sex they are yeah okay woman yes man no i'm happy you sleep with a woman i'm all over that really yeah it's cool when it make you feel way inferior because it's like no. a woman knows a woman's body yeah i love that so you just sit and watch yeah i'm, I'm happy content <laughs> Out of a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> what if your friends were liking all my pictures? Love that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, show them. That that's dude. Mm -hmm. right, that's my, that's well, he's an older dude, so I, I don't know, man. If they weren't like, I wonder if he like, if he watched like some of the shows, so uh, probably he does <laughs> answer some of the questions that she's You're liking funny. or something. What would you do if I couldn't cook? I'll cook for you. Would you? Mm. Smooth. Would you say you're smooth? Oh, I'd take you out for dinner most of the time. I like to eat out a lot. What if, like, you wanted a traditional woman, though, in the home? I don't want traditional dinner. woman. The last thing I want is a woman at home cooking me breakfast, cooking me lunch, cooking me dinner, ironing my clothes. It's only the f that. Wait, wanna, what do you want, then? I want to come out with me. Let's go out. Let someone else do that for us. This is selling a dream. I think when you've got kids, though, you know. this like, nice to be at... Obviously, if you've got children, then you, but you both have to put the effort yeah, in for that you know it's not just one it's not just the mum you know so you both you know you have to play your part but still i don't want you in the kitchen every night and yeah. just something of this you know so now do you you just want to enjoy life now i guess just enjoy life go out but yeah, funny enough but women not want matter and men naive enough to know that if i meet what? A, a younger mm. woman that r.i.p kevin samuels um 30-ish calm down if she wants a baby then i'm not going to be Ignorant enough to say I'm not I'm not at that place, you know. We would I would gen genuinely try, not just for the likes. Not just for the likes. Mm. Would you get married again? Yeah. Have you been married? I, I just said again, then presume. Twice. Twice. Third time lucky. Yeah, exactly that. Would you make a woman sign a prenup? No. No. So I'll be dead by the time I split up anyway. So no. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's certain things in laws now where you you'll be protected anyway. Everything that I've got now goes to my children, yeah, and it won't, it that won't, as it should, yeah. Yeah, that's the best way, man. Give it to your friggin' kids, bro. Wayne, how do you get done on the day? I've smiled all the time, so, and I've seen you smile a lot, so I think you've enjoyed my company, and I've certainly enjoyed yours. Whether there's any attraction there for you, I don't know. I've had a great time, and uh, it's been nice to get to know you. Dude, I want to see the nice score, day. man. Cool. Boy, this actually Just run out. Hopefully, it don't Just run out. Just babe. Oh, that was a good day. All right, let's see the score. I'm surprised. I've had a really good time. Um, I found it to be really fun and attractive and good banter. Yeah, he definitely handled the questions well because I feel like he's older and wiser, so he knows exactly how to respond to my questions. Um, probably bit. too, he watched the show Legally, too. But, um, I think I won around in the end. She definitely won me around. I really like her. What do you think you'd rate yourself out of 10? I'll leave that for her to decide, but I'm guessing around six or seven. Do you know oh, what? I really enjoyed the day. Like he dressed well. He was like a answer. gentleman. And he's not really pushing up himself really too well, much. I feel like he's going to get that eight. However, there wasn't that much chemistry. Oh, you were right. Wayne, a 6.5. Wow.